Well, I like to tell people that my life truly began when I was 11 months old. I was actually born with a benign spinal tumor that went undiagnosed for the first 11 months of my life. During that time, the tumor became infected and inflamed and actually crushed my spinal cord, resulting in the incomplete paralysis of my lower extremities. So living with a disability, having a disability, it's, it's all I know, it's all I remember. The biggest hurdle that I had to overcome um, growing up was dealing with the insecurity of having a disability. When you're growing up, the last thing you could possibly want is to be different. And it's particularly tough with a disability because everyone can see your differences. You know, those flaws, those insecurities are constantly on display to the world around you. I remember I would have these adolescent worries like, would my friends continue to accept me if I couldn't play sports with them at a high level? Or I remember I used to wear these big braces and walk with these crutches because I wanted to fit in with my able-bodied friends. And I was always petrified to wear shorts because I never wanted people to see the big clunky braces that I used. I never wanted people to see just how different I was. And I defined my entire childhood by what I couldn't do because I was comparing myself to my able-bodied counterparts. But when I found wheelchair basketball and I found other athletes that had gone through similar experiences that I had, um, my life became about what I could do. And it's, and it's given me everything that I have up until this point. And I learned through sport that by embracing the aspects uh, that made me different, by embracing my insecurities, I was able to shatter any and all limitations or expectations anyone would ever try to place upon me. Eventually, those differences became my strength and I'm just so grateful that I found wheelchair basketball and organizations like the Challenge Athletes Foundation that allow people with disabilities to be who they truly are. So when I found wheelchair basketball, I didn't, I wasn't just, uh, I didn't just find a sport. I found an entirely new world. And without even knowing it, the Challenge Athletes Foundation had their fingerprints all along my journey from the very beginning. You know, they provide more funds and more access to adaptive sporting equipment than any other organization on the entire planet. And um, not only are they growing the sport of wheelchair basketball to each corner of the country and of the globe, but they're allowing people with disabilities to find their athlete within themselves. And I'll never be able to repay the sport for what it's given me. And this sport would not be what it is today without the Challenge Athletes Foundation. It's, it's harder for Paralympic athletes to be full-time high-performance athletes because the, the level of engagement from various sponsorships are not the same as our Olympic counterparts. So the fact that the Challenge Athletes Foundation is willing to step up to the plate and see the value in investing in high performance allows us to do what we do. It allows us to chase our dreams to the highest possible level. And we're, you know, as a Paralympian, I'm incredibly grateful for the work that Challenge Athletes Foundation does at the grassroots level, but also at the high performance level.